2020 kicked my Airbnb business in the uh, because of the lockdowns, the travel bans, and just the huge drop in demand. My business also falls in the cracks of the government support schemes for self-employed people, so the only way I could get help was by applying for unemployment. My name is Cairo, this is my million dollar hustle channel, and in this video, I'm gonna document how much I spent in a week on unemployment. Now, I consider myself super lucky to have been able to get any help at all as so many people have had it far worse off than me. And overall, it was a really interesting experiment. I recommend everybody does this little test just to get a grip of exactly how much money you are spending every week. There's so many little items that you would normally not think about. So this is a great way to really know where your money is going. And I was kind of shocked by some of the results at the end of the video. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, you can be a hero and give my channel a boost by crushing the like button. Now, let's get into the numbers. I live in London, which is an expensive city, but if you can't go anywhere apart from those adventures to the grocery store, you actually find out that there's not that much money you can spend on things. Well, unless you've had a few too many drinks and your Amazon account is nearby. So I'll list all the prices in British pounds as well as US dollars. And speaking of US dollars, if you want some of those for free, you can click the link down in the description for Webull. You can get four free stocks when you fund your account by $100. And those stocks are valued up to $1,600, which is essentially free money, which I know in these troubled times, I could definitely use as well. Now, if you're in the UK or Europe, you can click the link for Trading212, get a free stock over there, and neither of these links will cost you any money. So how much do I get every month from the unemployment office? I get 1,062 pounds, which works out to about $1,450. So that's how much I'm working with. Now let's get into a day-by-day -day breakdown of how much I spend in a week. So if you're new to the channel, you might not know this, but I'm also a musician. So as I start my day on Monday morning, I go over to my keyboard and practice a little bit of piano. I'm using an app called Simply Piano, which works out to about one pound 61 pence per week. Later on in the video though, I'll break down exactly how much I spend in a week on all the different apps I use. Now I start the day with piano instead of breakfast because I'm doing intermittent fasting. And actually I kind of like it this way because right after piano, I get my workout in. I find it much easier to do a workout on an empty stomach. And my workout costs me a grand total of zero pounds. That's mainly because I love the convenience of being able to work out from home. I love the fact that I don't have to waste time getting to a gym. Gyms are also really expensive in London for the most part. And I predominantly do body weight calisthenic stuff. So I paid about $30 for some gymnastics rings, which I have set up on my balcony. I also bought an exercise bench, but that was about 10 years ago. So I'm pretty sure that's depreciated by now. So overall, my workouts don't cost me anything. Plus, it's super convenient that I can do it from home, especially given that we've been under so many lockdowns this last year. Now, post-workout and a member shrinking cold shower, I get into the food for the day and I start things off with a bowl of oats. And on Monday, I mix it up a little bit with some rice milk and turmeric and ginger and cinnamon, plus a bit of sweetener. And that works out to about 30 pence for that bowl of cereal. Now, I'm also trying to get a little more muscular, so I gotta get my protein in. So I make a beast of a protein smoothie. It's got 70 grams of plant-based protein powder in it. And it's got fruit juice, it's got spinach, it's got frozen banana, it's got frozen berries on this Monday, and that comes to a total of one pound 80. Gotta get those healthy seeds sprinkled on top too. For an afternoon snack, I had a banana muffin, and basically all I do there is I take a muffin, I put some tahini on there, I squish some banana, put some cinnamon on top, delicious little snacks, only 40 pence. And for dinner, I made a couple of Moving Mountains plant-based burgers and a bowl of mixed veg, and that worked out to only three pounds 70. So if you got that same thing at a restaurant or from Uber Eats, it would be costing you well over 12 pounds. So my total spend on Monday was six pounds 21 pence, which is eight US dollars and 45 cents. So kicked off things on Tuesday again with some piano, with a workout, with an ice cold shower, and then the feeding begins. And things are so much easier for me if I have them in a set routine, in a bit of a habit. It's much less likely that I would skip on the workout or that I would skip the piano. One of these things are also mentioned in a really cool book called Atomic Habits. To it down below if you haven't read it. 
highly recommend it. So on Tuesday, again, I had some oats and then I had my protein smoothie. I mixed it up a little bit. Instead of doing a berry smoothie, I did a tropical smoothie with uh, mango and pineapple, which again came to only one pound 80. Then I did a whole bunch of editing work for the YouTube channel because I'm posting three videos a week on this one, but I'm not monetized yet, so it's still a labor of love. So then I took a break and had some avocado toast, and instead of paying seven, eight pounds for this at a trendy hipster cafe in the area I live, I spent 40 pence on it. For dinner, we had spinach gnocchi and broccolini with a pasta sauce, so this worked out to about three pounds 80. Now where we live, there are a whole bunch of different supermarkets, but because we are in central London, the cheapest of the supermarkets, like Lidl and Aldi, are a bit further away. So to get to those, you'd actually have to pay for transport. So it actually works out cheaper for us to go to our local biggest supermarket, which is Waitrose. Now Waitrose has the reputation of being one of the most expensive in the whole country, but most of the time we go there, we're just buying things that are on discounts. So for example, I buy my avocados at Marks and Spencers because they're actually cheaper at Marks and Spencers, which is quite a fancy supermarket than they are at Tesco, which is kind of blows my mind sometimes. But basically I buy things that are cheapest at the different supermarkets because each supermarket will have their own promotions that they run. So this dinner, the gnocchi was on special, the broccolini was on special and the pasta sauce was on special. So in total food for Tuesday cost me six pounds and 30 P which is about $8 and 56 cents. So before bed, I did a bit of language learning. I'm trying to learn Italian and Chinese. It is difficult, but it is a fun little hobby that I have. And I pay for the premium version of Duolingo, which is about 80 pounds a year. We also watch some Netflix, which my fiance and I split. So I'll add those things up later on in the video when we do the apps section. Now on Wednesday, Wednesday's on my craziest day because I have to get a YouTube video up and I also do a singing live stream for my music fans. So no workout on Wednesday, but I still had my 30 cents of oats, a tropical smoothie for one pound 80, an amazing 40p banana muffin snack. And then for dinner, I went cray and we ordered from Uber Eats. Oh no. But I never order full price items on Uber Eats or delivery or any of these delivery apps. I only order when there is a discount. So because I'm on the Uber Eats mailing list, I got a 50% off voucher for a Chinese place and it was called Bian Diang. So I had a starter and a main and it worked out to eight pounds, 36 P and that's including the service charge and the delivery fee. This takes Wednesday's total to 10 pounds and 46 pence, which is about $14.78. Thursday, the morning routine machine was cranking again. I got up, did my piano, did a workout, and then had a cold shower and my porridge oats for 30 pence. A little later, I had my berry smoothie for one pound 80, then did a whole bunch of YouTube work and had a snack of these three apple and cinnamon callow rice cakes. They are amazing. They only cost about 35 pence. Then for dinner, I made these kick-ass burgers with this isn't chicken nuggets. So these are plant-based chicken nuggets. I added some chipotle mayo, some wilted spinach, and some cooked tomato with a side of mixed veg tahini and Nando's chili sauce that came to about one pound 98 pence. So total cost for the day was four pounds 43, which works out to six dollars and two cents. Then after dinner, my fiance twisted my arm and made me watch the first episode of Bridgerton on Netflix. Thankfully, we can agree that we are not going to be watching episode two. What if it gets racier? Okay, if it gets racier, I may uh, change my opinion on Bridgerton. Friday, fry yay. So started the day with piano and then it was time for leg day. Now again, I did the workout at home, but what I sometimes do is I go on Groupon and I look for deals at gyms because doing legs at the gym sometimes helpful. You can add a bit of extra weight rather than doing it just body weight stuff. You can find some amazing deals on Groupon. The last deal I found was 14 gym passes for 14 pounds. So that's only one pound for a gym pass. And you've got gyms that are easily 90, 100 pounds a month. So Groupon is a top tip for finding some sneaky gym deals. All in all though, I still prefer to work out from home because I don't have to spend money money or time getting to the gym. Uh, but I guess I could borrow my fiance's bike and get there with pedal power for free. So no oats on Friday, but I did have a tropical smoothie for one pound 80. Then I went for a walk with my fiance to my favorite donut place 
in the world. It's called Crosstown Donuts. They do some amazing vegan donuts. We went to the one in Brick Lane and I got my absolute favorite donut in the world. It is a lime and coconut donut. Oh my goodness, look at this goo coming out from the inside. But they are quite expensive. This donut sent me back four pounds and 50p. Now I am a bit of a fanboy of this place, so I make sure I get stamped loyalty card every time I go so the seventh donut is free so do me a solid if you ever go to Crossdown, make sure you get a loyalty card stamp and send it on through to me now next to Crossdown is this amazing and authentic bagel place so I got two plain bagels for 60p and while walking home we got some soups from Pret they worked out to three pounds 75 and when I got home I had a tangerine for 27p my favorite citrus fruit and then for dinner I had a steamed sweet potato had some broccolini and a really delicious mushroom pie. So all in all, this has been the most expensive day so far, largely because of the donut and because of the soup from Pret, but still it cost me only 14 pounds and 27 pence, which is pretty reasonable. That works out to about $19 and 40 cents. So Saturday, the weekend has arrived. It was an off day from the workouts. I still got in my piano practice and I had a berry smoothie for £1.80 and an avocado muffin for 37 pence. Later on in the day, it was rainy and miserable outside. So we decided to watch a movie at home. Well, with lockdown, what else is there to do? So I made salty garlicky popcorn, which only cost 25 pence per person. And I almost spilt it everywhere trying to get this shot. Then I had two tangerines for 54 pence. And then for dinner, I made a rice, sweet potato, broccoli, tofu, jerk stew. Lucy said it looked disgusting, but I thought it tasted pretty nice. Actually, to be more specific, she said it looked like bird poo, but she also likes to eat food before it has been cooked. So that is her folly. The reason why the rice and the popcorn is so cheap it's because I buy these kind of things in bulk online I use a website called healthy supplies but Amazon does pretty good deals too so whenever I buy popcorn whenever I buy rice whenever I buy quinoa any kinds of seeds I buy two kilos three kilos four kilos at a time and get these massive boxes delivered in bulk so my rice and sweet potato jerk stew only cost one pound fifty per person in total Saturday sent me back four pounds and forty six pence which works out to six dollars and seven cents then on Sunday, woke up, did piano practice, did the free workout, followed by a cold shower and a tropical pineapple mango smoothie. Then we had our social highlight of the week when we went grocery shopping and saw other human beings. Well, at least saw their eyes because the rest is covered by face masks. And as a little treat from the supermarket, we got these pizzas. We got one each and they worked out to two pounds 57. Now the normal price is I think £4.50, so they're around 40, 50% off. And there's no way I'd be paying five pounds of these from a supermarket. But for £2.57, a couple of hours later, I had a tangerine for 27p plus some avo toast for 40 pence. And then for dinner, I had the leftover stew from the night before, but instead of rice, I had some edamame pasta. It is really high in protein, so that helps me with my workout goals. And when we get these, we get them from Amazon in bulk, which helps keep the price down massively. So in total for Sunday, it cost me six pounds, 89 pence, which works out to $9.37. Okay, drum roll. Worst drum roll ever, that's why I'm a singer. Total food for the week cost me 53 pounds and 19 pence. So for my friends in America, that is $72.34. Now that's not too shabby. I'm pretty happy with that. Obviously I could have cut out the Uber Eats and the soup from Pret. The donuts are here to stay though. One donut a week ma makes me happy. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to make a video of me trying to live off one pound a day for a week. Ooh, I don't even know if I'll be able to get in all the calories, but let me know in the comments if that is a video you'd like to see. So let's tally up what I spend on apps every week. And there's only a few apps that I really pay for. I pay for Netflix, I pay for Simply Piano, and I pay for Duolingo. Simply Piano is £1.61 a week. Duolingo is £1.42 a week. And Netflix is £1.40 a week. Although, strictly speaking, I share that expense with my fiance, so it's actually only 70 pence a week. So in total, the apps cost me four pounds and 43p a week, which is $6.05. Right, now we've got food out the way, we've got apps out the way, but what about the huge expenses? What about gas? What about electricity? What about water? What about internet? How can we live without internet? And what about rent? I live in one of the most expensive cities in the world, and I don't pay 
any of those expenses. I don't pay for rent. I don't pay for electricity. Don't pay for water. Don't pay for gas. And no, it's not because I live at home because my mom lives in South Africa. It is because as part of my Airbnb business, I rent hack the flat I live in. So I've made another video talking about how exactly I did this. I will link to it up in the cards as well as in the description. It's definitely worth a watch because rent and mortgage are probably your biggest expenses. So adding everything up that I spent in an average week on unemployment, we get 57 pounds, 62 P, which works out to $78 and 39 cents. Now, obviously I have a few businesses. I have my music business and I have my Airbnb business and each of those businesses have their own expenses. Maybe I'll do another video in the future talking about how much I spend on my businesses in a week. But even when I go off unemployment, I don't expect my weekly expenses to rise that much. I don't think there's going to be too much lifestyle inflation as my businesses start to pick up steam again or as hopefully my YouTube channel grows. So I made another video, I'll link to it in the cards and in the description about money goals for 2021. It's definitely an interesting watch. Go check that out after this one. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you crush that like button, subscribe, join me on my million dollar hustle journey. And don't forget to grab your free money. Click the link down below for Webull to get four free stocks. When you fund your account by $100, you will get stocks valued up to $1,600. So that's free money. Money over there if you're in the US and if you're in the UK or Europe click the link for trading 212 and get a free stock over there watch these videos next I'll see you in there let's hustle together